I just have always had the basic feeling uh, reinforced by um, communications from readers mm. because I, I've gotten letters from Muslim readers mm. and from um, um, uh, other people of all religions. And it's my experience that in every group of people, um, whether they're people who are starving, you know, right out of today's newsreels, um, in in places in the world that are really afflicted, mm. or whether you're talking about um, moneyed, uh, secure uh, suburbanites. The same kinds of uh, of drives exist. The parents are worried about their children. Mm. They want them to have enough to eat. Mm. They want them to be nourished. Mm. They want them to be educated in order to have occupations that will allow them some kind of steadiness and security mm. and comfort and nutrition in their lives. And uh, they may have different languages, they may prepare their food differently, mm -hmm. but there's a basic kind of um, wholesomeness uh, in, in every society, I think, and that, that translates easily. Mm -hmm. People go to different countries um, uh, and, and may not speak the language, but can observe Mm -hmm. the same kind of values mm. that they have at home. Mm. When I wrote about, um, about this boy from um, a Christian background who comes to see other religions, um, it, it felt natural. I mean, it's basically one God just called with different names. I mean, that's such a, a strong statement the novel makes. That what inspired me uh, reading it a lot is that um, um, all these real religions are um, described in their dark side and their light side too. I mean, this, you know, if it's the Christian church in, um, in, in England who's really, really described in a very critical way, if it's the um, Muslim world is like young and in a way very um, armed religion um, that also has its conflicts between the Shah, who is not so religious, of, against the fundamental powers in the in Isfahan, the liberal Ibn Sina. So this is is all you know. Uh, all the three religions are, are um, um, described in a very three-dimensional side. In the end, the bottom line is really that there's a possibility that all the three religions um, tolerate each other or be even be friends. And that's such a, um, um, as a as a mantra or a message or something to think about. It's something really wonderful for the for the novel and for the movie as well. That um, you have a uh, hopefully entertaining and adventurous story to tell. There's, there's a coming of age story, and a, and, and it's a, a journey into wisdom from darkness to light. But on the other hand, it's really about um, it's a statement about tolerance. And I think that's 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 what it's a major issue of the of the of the novel.